the average selling price of a smartphone in India is around $160 or 11,000 rupees. In the US, it's around $460 or 33,000 rupees. The price of the latest iPhone XS Max in the US is less than two and a half times the average selling price, while in India, it's 10 times the average selling price. The Americans find it a bit easier to afford an iPhone because the average income of an American is nine times higher than that of an Indian. So price is one huge barricade, and we all know that. But is it just the price that's affecting the Indian consumers? Absolutely not. Even if you do manage to afford an iPhone, there are a lot of shortcomings. Until two years ago, iPhones were the fastest. Today, they aren't. Wait a minute, don't get me wrong. Sure, Apple's A-series chips are the fastest, thanks to which the iPhone gets insane benchmark scores, carries out various intensive tasks like video rendering rapidly. But in real life usage, the OnePlus 6 feels faster, especially at loading the most commonly used apps like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. The animations are considerably faster too. Same goes with Honor phones, which have always proved to be as fast as, if not faster than their OnePlus competitors. Technically, iPhones are faster, but these days the gap is becoming smaller and smaller. Until two years ago, iPhones had the best cameras. A controversial statement, I know, but I'll stick to it anyway. Let me get to the point. On a scale of 0 to 500, let's say the camera on the iPhone 5S was somewhere here. A few months later, the Galaxy S5 was launched. The camera was slightly better. Then came the iPhone 6, which had a considerably better camera. Then came the Galaxy S6. I'd rate that camera this much. iPhone 6S, here. Galaxy S7, here. iPhone 7. Galaxy S8, iPhone 10, Galaxy S9, iPhone 10s. What I'm trying to convey here is the gap is getting narrower. Those days when a Galaxy phone was launched, it would only be slightly better than the existing iPhone. But when an iPhone was launched, it would be noticeably better than the existing Galaxy phone. But these days it's become just the opposite. The gap has become very narrow. Apple was the first to introduce 240fps slow motion in 720p resolution. Apple was the first to introduce 120fps slow motion in full HD resolution. But look at the latest iPhones. They're stuck at 240fps, while the Galaxy S9 Plus can do 960fps. Yes, there are limitations, but it's still a more than handy option and it's super fun to play around with. Similarly, the OnePlus 6 can do 480fps, the Sony XZ2 can do 960fps in full HD resolution, why isn't Apple providing the option? They used to be the best in the slow motion side of things. Similarly, iPhones were really good, probably the best for low light photography. But the latest iPhone XS failed to defeat the Galaxy S9 and the Huawei P20 Pro. Until two years ago, iPhones had the best user experience, an excellent user interface. As in, it was super smooth and free of bugs. But with iOS 11, Apple really messed it up. There were loads of bugs. I used iOS 11 on iPhone 10 for over a week and I couldn't wait to switch back to my Mi 6. I haven't used iOS 12 yet, but people who are using it find it fast and buttery smooth. But it's still not completely void of bugs. iPhone XS Max users are facing a couple of annoying bugs, including the charge gate issue that Lou from Unbox Therapy made a video about. I'll leave a card here to that video. Until two years ago, Siri wasn't great to use in India, and it hasn't changed much since then. Siri still struggles a bit to pick up Indian accent, and asking for information related to movies or restaurants ends up in vain. Those features don't work in India. Apple Maps and Apple Music aren't great either. We all prefer Ghana and Savan. What music service do you prefer? Let me know in this poll here. Apple Maps doesn't have the navigation feature for Indian users. Sure, Google Maps is the best in business. We don't need to care about Apple Maps anyway. I get that, but still. And not to mention, there's no sign of Apple bringing Apple Pay to India. Samsung flagships have Samsung Pay and it works like a charm. So being Indian iPhone users, we have to put up with these additional drawbacks as well. This is not a I hate Apple kind of video, not at all. In fact, I made a few bold statements like iPhones always had the best cameras and so on. This is a carefully thought out video for those who are genuinely looking to buy the latest iPhones. 
Shelling out so much money used to make sense back then, when iPhones were the best in certain things like speed and user experience. But right now, iPhones are more expensive than ever, and competitors are either so close to matching the iPhone's performance or have already taken the lead. So unless you already own a MacBook, an iPad, on which you use the same Apple ID for synchronization, I mean, unless you're in the Apple ecosystem, you're stuck in the Apple ecosystem, you love it, you're used to it so much. If that's not the case, then I think this is the best time to switch to Android. I know it's hard. I've been an iOS user for about five years myself. It did take a while for me to get used to Android, but it's totally worth it. The journey has been great so far. Now, if you've already been using Android and are looking to switch to iPhone, please don't do that. That would be a crazy decision. Agree or disagree? Come on, let's discuss in the comment section. I try to reply to as many comments as possible and this time will be no different. So that's it. Hit thumbs up if you appreciate the kind of content I'm coming up with. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more videos like this. More importantly, hit the bell icon so whenever I upload a new video, you'll get the notification. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a great day.